it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today we're going to be playing around with some die cuts. So I know it's my first time doing a tutorial on it, so I'm super excited. Uh, before we get started though, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I appreciate all the support that I can get. Okay, we are playing with Scrap Diva dies today, and this is from one set. The majority is from one set. So it is the sequins envelope holder and it's so cute. So it's it comes in two sizes. Uh, this is a whole set. And then some of these sayings are from another set. So I did pull from two, which I will, I, I want it to be clear so that you don't think everything comes in this one particular die set. But this is what it makes. It's just like a cute little envelope in the two sizes, right? This one I just put together just to make sure that we can actually put stuff in there and it's not gonna, um, give us a hard time closing up this little folder. But I think it's just adorable. There's something about die cuts, which I had, you know, I'm so new to it, um, that it's just, they're so stinking adorable. They're like the teeniest size. And then I don't know if you can see on here, but you can get the details of the stitching, which I think would be incredibly hard to get that using the Cricut. So I do think that I'm gonna be moving more into the die cutting set because I just love it. It's so much fun. So we're going to be cutting some today. I've already pre-cut a lot of things though. So let's get started and just, I'm going to show you how easy it is to play with these things. And by no means am I an expert. I just really started, but you can already make so many cute things. Let me show you some of the things I have right here. Um, and I have some, oh, here they are. I swear I'm coming. <laughs> All right. So this is her stocking one, which I think is so cute. I just, I love anything shakers, right? And then you can add a gift card um, in here to give out. I mean, it's just, it's small and it's adorable. <laughs> I can't get over it. <laughs> and then um, just on here, this is this is a Cricut project, but just to show you, I easily added some little things from her die cut series, and it just makes everything so stinking cute. All right, let's get started. So first thing is, I am using, this is just my Avery sheet protectors. I think it's, you know, it's cheap and no one can tell. When you're, when you have such a small space like this, I don't think you need high quality acetate paper. Um, so all you need to do is just cut a square. So I'm just gonna grab a regular pair of scissors and we're gonna give ourselves plenty of space to glue this down because it's only the heart that is gonna show. So we just need to cover up that heart right there. So I just cut a really simple, um, it's not even a rectangle, it's all messed up. <laughs> but we're gonna glue around it, give it plenty of space. So we're gonna do it on the inside over here. So let's just do I don't want any of the glue to get smeared and to come and hit the heart at all. So that we can, I don't want it to see through at all. So let's put that down. All right, so our acetate is down. Now we're just gonna build on the other side, we're gonna build our little walls to basically keep the sequins in. So I'm gonna eyeball it. So it's gonna be above and yeah, make sure that we don't, you can't see this within the heart. So this is from Barely Art, I absolutely love it. You never know when you need a small piece, so I just put it back. All right, so over here, you wanna make sure that you press down really hard. We're activating the adhesiveness um, so that it's sticking to the bottom. We're gonna put our sequins in here, or for me, I'm gonna be putting um, our little confetti um, sprinkles from 
like for cupcakes and cakes. They smell great. They make great noise. They're beautiful. So I, that's just what I've switched to. I'm, I'm a believer and I can't, I can't go back now that I know. <laughs> um, I do wait for Michael's to have their 40% off their sprinkle sale and that's when I buy them. So, all right, I'm going to, let's see if I like those colors. I'm gonna see if I wanna add. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of red to it just because we're gonna add a red top. And I think we're good. Okay, so we're good there. Now I'm just gonna fold it over. And we wanna activate the adhesive down this way. I feel a sprinkle up on top, so I'm gonna see if I can somehow. Oh, it got stuck on the, let me see where it is. I think we're okay. And just to make sure, and I'm just going to show you there's, it must have gotten stuck a little bit up there. So um, you can feel it because all of this is adhesive except for right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick my glue gun in there and seal it up. I don't think it's going anywhere, but, oh, you can kind of see it too, it's right there. It's poking through, but that's okay. All right, um, I'm gonna fold this. I should have stuck it on the inside. I was so excited about doing the confetti. <laughs> I should have folded this in and it's okay because we're going to be putting other pieces around it so we're not going to notice this right here okay and i love this pop of red in there okay so now what we're going to do is i'm going to take my glue gun and i'm just going to seal it up i don't it doesn't really need to because the the adhesive on the inside is already keeping it pretty stable in there, but we can just seal it up a little bit. So I'm gonna take this. And just hold it down while it dries. It's so cute. I am loving this color. So this is basil paper. It's turquoise mist. And it's just, it, it was my go-to color for Christmas and apparently my go-to now for this as well. Okay, so now let's cut a piece so I can show you how easy it is to quickly add something. So I'm gonna move this aside. I have the big, the big kick, so what you want to do is, let me get the pieces for it. So this is the platform that it comes with. So you're going to put down one plate and then you're going to put your stencils down. So the one that I want is this one, it's going to cut a middle piece right there so I'm gonna put my paper down and I want this one and while I'm at it I'm gonna cut a few more pieces just because I have some scrap some space so I'm gonna throw on these pieces just for the heck of it and let's see if I want to do anything else um, maybe will this fit it will fit 
All right. Oops. And you don't, when it shifts like that, you want to just take it off and reposition it because you want them to be, um, you don't want them overlapping. So we're going to stick this down. And then I'm going to crank it through. I know. <laughs> I get nervous every time because I'm like, am I doing it right? What's going on here? Okay. I'm going to move this aside. And it's so quick, right? I feel like if I needed to do this on the Cricut, um, it would have taken a lot longer. So I like, I like using my scraps for this and look at how cute this is. So now it's going to hide pretty much all of our, you know, all of our indents and whatever. So this will cover it. And I do want to make this pop a little bit. So I'm going to put, um, let's put a little bit. And this is what I like about the Barely Art Cubies is that um, like I'm picking this off and it's not moving. They're super, super sticky and it's great quality. All right, so let's put this down. So cute, right? These little things are for another one, but we can work on this one. We can continue to work on this one. We can add, um, so this is, this is all the things that I've cut. So you can kind of see, like I just take different papers and cut them out so that I have the options of putting down whatever I want. So I'm gonna move this aside and then we can kind of build this together. Um, I think I want, I want the word kisses on here, it's so cute. And I wonder if I even want it. Oh, I think I might want that. I'm gonna put the word kisses on here, on this blue, and stick it up. Oh my gosh, it's so stinking cute. All right, so with this, because it's kind of thin, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my tweezers, basically. And I pretty much always have my precision tip on. Can you even see that? All right, I'm missing the little eye. Here it is. I think this is the one. Oh no, that's the plain one. All right, I'm gonna grab my little glue. See, these are, this is why you need all the tools. It's so small, I'm gonna use this to grab it and I'm gonna show you how small it is. It's the little dot, what is it called? The tittle, right, for the eye? I'm gonna put down a little glue dot. And then I'm just gonna move it up. That was a little bit too close. So cute. And I'm, you know, definitely gonna put our little cubies on here. Let me 
maybe I'll put it down here. So cute. All right. So we actually can't put anything inside the envelope because of the way we built this. But I think the tag, like if you punched a hole and you put it on one of your gifts. Let's see if we can add a few more things on here. What cute stuff can we add? There's like a little... I cut some XLs. Um, some hearts and some lips. So we could definitely add that on here. So cute. Um, let's see, we can do. Actually, I like the the lips and the heart. So let's do that. And that's going to be too much glue. I can already feel it. So I'm just going to wipe some off. Oh my gosh, so cute. Another heart. I feel like this color is not, it's not bright enough. Let me see. color I want for the kisses. Let me see what other options I have. I haven't cut out anything else, so let's cut out another word, another kisses, because I think that's fading in, and it, you know what this reminds me of? Um, like your own very, your own version of um, the, the candy hearts. It's so cute. Okay, Let's cut. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take this out. Um, and let's grab the word kisses. And while we're at it, maybe cut a few other things. Um, I almost wonder if like we throw in some white. So let's do... Got a piece of white right here, which I think would look really good. Okay, so we've got this. Let's cut kisses for sure. And while we're at it, let's cut from the other one. die. Let's see. I was going to cut more of those hearts and the lips, but I'm trying to think where I put it. <laughs> it has to be here. 
I was just here. All right, let me look. So I wasn't good and I didn't put it back. So I feel like it has to be here somewhere. Oh, what a bummer because I would love to cut more of that right now. I literally can't see it. Okay. Well, while we're cutting this one, let's see if we want to cut anything else. We might as well. A few other items on here. Let's cut. even taken that out yet all right let's just cut kisses apparently and um the xo maybe Here we go. okay so remove this aside put this over here bring back this And so, you know, it's, I think it's part of the reason why this is so fun is that you can do it kind of on, you can easily make changes to it. And unlike the Cricut where you don't want to go back to like opening up design space, make adding some things, picking out your paper, um, I can just easily, you know, crank it through. And we have this was thicker paper I probably should have tested it but oh it's still cut through okay I just didn't easily pop out like we were used to pop out that E And oops. put it right on it it's cute <laughs> let's see I still have my eye the little dot so let's poke that out and then dot it right here and So cute. What do you think? Let me know if you like this. I'm gonna. I have a few more sets that we can work and play with. So that will be here. Um, I don't know. I'm like really falling in love with it. So I hope you like it too because. Um, I'd like to do a few more of these. All right, I will see you guys next time. And because it's still January, 2023, if you're looking for a workshop, um, my only workshop planned for this year is XOXO Craft Girls in Texas or online in February, 2023. So it's still a few weeks away. You can get all the details in the comments below, in the description below, there will be a link. And I will see you guys next time, bye.